Hey guys, I am coming to you from my new bike. No more Ninja 300 for me. This is the Ninja 650 2013. No, I'm just kidding. I'm st I still own the Ninja 300. Right now I'm test riding the, uh, the 650. My dealership knew that uh, I'm contemplating between the ZX6R and the 650. So they said that I can, they got this guy in used. Uh, so they're gonna let me take it out for a, a little bit. The thing I really like about this bike um, is that it's got pretty well the, the same stylings of the Ninja 300 that I know and love, the dual headlights, the uh, integrated indicators that are built right into the fairing as opposed to sticking out. For some reason I'm a big fan of being able to see that suspension spring. I really enjoy that. <laughs> you know, even the, the rear fender is very similar to what the Ninja 300 has, as well as the, uh, the tail light in the back. This one's already got the um, rear seat cowl, which is what I upgraded to on my 300. Not a huge fan of the exhaust though. Uh, this is obviously stock still, but I don't like how they put it directly under the bike. It doesn't stick out on the side anymore on this one. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I could probably uh, get used to it. The seat is far more comfortable than what I'm used to. The controls are all identical, uh, with the exception of the hazard lights on this one. The 300 doesn't have those. And then your, your key is located a little bit lower, closer to the gas tank than it is on the 300. Um, it still has the a similar digital display. I think it shows all the same things. I didn't notice uh, so far in my ride, I didn't notice any differences there. Well, and although it's good, the mirrors I find are uh, a lot more useful on this one. We'll take it for a ride and we'll see what we think. Uh, so this one's a 2013. It is pretty well brand new. It's only got uh, less than 2,000 kilometers on it. My my Ninja, my 300 has almost 6,000. So uh, it's newer than mine is. And uh, I guess the guy traded in to get a Ninja 1000. But I've been up in the air. I didn't know what to get between the ZX6R or should I get this one? After riding the R6, I was all gung-ho for the ZX6R. Um, but this one's fun. I'm enjoying this one a lot. I, I think that the primary differences uh, are, like obviously there's a big power difference between the 300 and this. 300's got I think 39 horsepower, this has about 70. And the ZX6R has 130-ish. Um, like. I think these these are approximate numbers. Now, how much do I actually need? Logically speaking, this fits the bill. The ZX6R is nice, it's a racing bike. Um, you know, you get an adrenaline rush when you get on it, but I don't know if that novelty will wear off. Where the, the 300 is a great learner's bike, um, and it's it's a peppy little thing, but there's moments where you just want more. Um, this guy, in my current experience with it, fits that bill just perfect. I mean, zero to 60 time is, I believe, less than four seconds. I had it up to 100 kilometers an hour in second gear, no problem. Um, when I gunned it in first, the front tire lifted up off the ground seems to have more power than I'll ever, again, logically need. So it's all about, I guess I just have to ask my decision, what is it that I'm looking for? This one, I was explaining the differences uh, before I made, the, before I started recording the video uh, to my fiance. 
And this one almost feels like less of a toy, more of a everyday motorcycle. You know, like it's physically a lot bigger. It's a very upright position. Um, the seating position is, uh, or sorry, the actual seat itself is really comfortable. Um, and it feels like something that you can ride across the country type thing. I'm gonna take it on the highway, or on higher speed roads anyway, to see how it feels. Earlier on I had it about 100 kilometers an hour, and I was pushing about, I would say 4,300 RPM. And on my Ninja 300, I'm gonna probably be at about 6,500 there. So it's obviously working a lot less, which it should be. It's a 650. Let's see what we do. So there's 100 kilometers an hour. Didn't take very long. It's kind of got a low grunt to it too. You can tell it's a much bigger displacement engine, um, but it's still a twin, so it, it won't get that sound that I've been craving out of a Super Sport. You win some, you lose some, I suppose. Um, but that's what I mean, like that was that was pretty quick. I'm pretty impressed with the power. I, actually, it's more so than I expected. I'll give it that. The mirror positions, uh, like I mentioned, they're much more useful as well. Um, and I think the, uh, the stock windshield is a lot better for deflecting wind because Going at this speed, I'm in and around 100 kilometers an hour again. I don't feel as much wind pushing up against me as I would on uh, my 300. So right now at 100, I'm going, yeah, 4,500 RPM. And it, it really feels like it can do that all day. I can't really speak to uh, the fuel economy or anything yet, but one thing I did notice, a con that I noticed, the vibrations are a lot worse than uh, than what I get on the 300. I, even when I'm accelerating, uh, I can I can hear a vibration coming from like the the console area, um, and you'll see like the the windshield goes crazy. You can feel a little bit in the seat. The pegs do have the foot pegs have rubber coating on them. Ah. I don't think I'll need more speed than that. Uh, the foot pegs have like a rubber coating on them. Again, it's a really comfortable bike. I do, I am a fan of the, uh, the gauge cluster. Um, this guy redlines at about 11,000 versus 13,000 on the 300. I want to kind of take it on these higher paced roads and highways because this is primarily what I'm going to be using it for. Alright, here we go. happy with that. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Seems to be a common topic in my videos is that I get lost. I always get lost because I'm too busy talking to you. But I do think that this is a very good upgrade for me. And I know that my fiance will agree because she is scared shitless of the idea of me being on a super sport. While this has more than enough pow power than you need, um, it's still not, you're not as apt to get into trouble like you would be on a super sport because the super sport's got that power and it's just 
begging to use it, you know? Like, it, where this one's not, it's still very tame, very controllable. You know, like right now, I love this. I got trees all around me. I can smell them. Um, I'm enjoying myself. I don't. I don't feel like I need to have. To, I don't have to go too fast. Like I, I'm not sport riding right now. I'm sport touring. I'm on a sport touring bike. Get it? Maybe I'll bring it back to the dealer. Not sure. Uh, well, I'm gonna bring it back because I'm not gonna steal it. My 300 is parked there right now. I'm not sure what what the numbers would equate to be. Like I would have to figure all that stuff out. So we'll put it in the maybe pile for now. We'll see what's up. Perhaps you guys can even do me a favor and tell me what you think. That could be helpful. Just saying. Well, the topic of you guys doing me favors. Thank you for the subscription so far. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to. Uh, and I've also gone ahead and created a Facebook and a Twitter page that you can follow me, you can like me. I'm giving you all the avenues to show your support. I just need you to go do it. I just need you to click the link, you know, go to Twitter, send me a tweet, go to Facebook, click on that thumbs up, subscribe, do something like that. Or you can not, and you can just go away. Don't do that. The other downside to me upgrading right now, or potentially upgrading right now, is I spent a lot of money in upgrades on the 300 so far. The exhaust, the frame sliders, the seat cowl I already have, or they already have on this one, I'm getting ahead of myself. So that's no big deal. Um, but I would have to do all that again. One option I could have done is just dropped it. And I would have no choice but to buy it and I wouldn't have to make this difficult decision. 